Hi guys, my name is Nomis Yek, and I'm a flight attendant on board the Pillar of Autumn, and the year is 2552. We are currently stationed on the shipyard of Azod, and there's a lot of com chatter of something going on outside. Now I haven't left my cabin in over a week, and I kinda just feel like I'll let the Spartans deal with that. Right? Right guys? Guys, right? Is that is that the right thing to do? <laughs> guys, I, I'm kind of a little scared down here. It's it's not the Covenant, is it? It couldn't be the Covenant. They they can't be on reach. <laughs> I I trust my boy George to get the job done. He'll 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 protect us, right? Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain, and specifically episode 1 of The Domain Terminal. My new video series that I hope will just become very successful over the years. I want to be releasing these weekly, bi-weekly, whenever I can, and they're going to be going over everything. They're going to be your main hub for not only The Domain, but also general Halo news and lore. It's going to be an amazing thing. We're, we're, we're starting on a journey today that will transcend the stars, you know, this is, this, this will outlive us all, it'll, it'll outlive me. When you die, the, those videos stay. I am immortal on the internet. So anyway, the Domain Terminal will be our brand new series where we go over Halo news, channel updates, we're gonna do unboxings on every episode, we're gonna get fans involved, interview people, highlight the best in the community, it's gonna be an all-encompassing sphere of, of, knowledge. <laughs> it's gonna be the cryptum of Halo knowledge, okay? And I, I chose the name very sp very carefully. Usually when you access terminals you can see the domain logo, or, or kind of the domain logo. We've actually got a brand new logo, you can see it now. And this was computer drawn by my girlfriend Peggy, she's amazing. So this is gonna be a very complex show that evolves and changes in many ways. This is the basic schedule we got going on right now, and you can see the timestamps for each part of the video if you want to jump to that specific part. But first, I want to introduce the new mascot of the domain. This 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 guy <laughs> smacked this fat load down. Uh, this was given to me by one of my very true friends, Rickus. We had a beautiful day at the beach with him. If anybody has watched Studio Ghibli Spirited Away, you'll know what I'm talking about. And although this video is pre-recorded, we will be premiering it live, and I'd like the live chat to start filling up with name suggestions for this beefy boy. He'll be in every one of these videos, and my favorite name I'll pick out of the live chat. So this is my fella. He's gonna be accompanying this video series. We've also got all the fan favorites. You know, we got the Averys, Billy the Grunt, Flood Infection Spawn. We got we got the Simon the Spartan. We got all the boys here. So we're gonna start this video as we mean to go on every single episode with going over the Halo news of the week because there is gonna be non-stop Halo news until Halo Infinite. I was planning on doing this video anyway today and then the new Inside Infinite and MCC details all dropped at the same time. So we are full of lore. We're full of information today. We're gonna start with Inside Infinite. Now this blog series drops on Halo Waypoint at the end of every month and it breaks down key interviews with devs from 343, loads of little juicy parts to get your mandibles into, and there's a lot of far more lore orientated YouTubers to watch the full breakdown of, but I'm gonna go over some of the highlights. Artistic goals for the campaign focus on two key themes, legacy and simplicity. For legacy, we really want people to feel like they're experiencing a game that they fondly remember, like Halo Combat Evolved. As far as simplicity is concerned, we wanted to ensure that we steer away from overly noisy design, which is something we took away from the team coming off Halo 5. Another good example is how we've taken the visual design of the Jackals and Grunts back closer to their original appearances in Halo 3. We want players to feel a nostalgic familiarity with these designs, like meeting up with an old friend as they experience all that Halo Infinite has to offer. One of my favorite features in the game is our time of day lighting. It allows us to create artistic scenes and settings that have vastly different visual tones and moods depending on what time of day you are during the cycle. Enemy strongholds can be approached from any direction and there are so many options available on how you take the challenges at hand. Do I blaze through the front gate in a warthog full of marines and just light the place up with zero subtlety? Do I scout the perimeter and discover a subterranean entrance that allows me to enter through one of the interior structures? Do I grapple shot to the sniper tower, take out the inhabitant and begin picking off enemies from my raised vantage point. <laughs> just... 
That's really good. That's really good. Ah, oh, I love it. Uh, we're taking a Halo game, a sandbox shooter, where our goal is to make you feel like the most powerful actor in a rich, emergent, sci-fi combat simulation. We've designed Halo Infinite so that you're freer than ever before to do what Spartan soldiers do best. Survey a battlescape, plan your attack, engage the enemy, deal with whatever surprises the sandbox throws your way, and then rearm for the next battle. Ah, it's not... Uh feel like Halo Infinite is just around the corner. My my worries with this game just dissolve away slowly. There's still the chance that we have a Cyberpunk 2077 on our hands, but I think it's getting less and less likely. And the team at 343, they just seem to be in a different league right now. I have absolute respect for them. And even more respect is given when you look at the MCC update that's dropping into Insider right now. To just name a few things that are happening in MCC right now, we've got Fireteam Raven armor skins, so you can finally play as a full ODST in Halo 3. Alongside that are backpacks, five new Halo 3 armors, two new Halo 3 maps. Th this game has been out for as long as I've been a Halo fan, and they are making new maps for a game that is ancient, and it looks beautiful. Oh, this this looks ugly. 343 ruined Halo. This arm is terrible. What are you talking about? First of all, you can toggle this stuff off. Second of all, I have never, ever seen a game that is so old, getting such consistent season updates with amazing new armors. You, you, can, you can put an axe on your back now. I mean, for the, if, uh, for the low, low price of $30. I don't know, guys. I rest my case for 343 at the minute. I might make a separate video on it. But you take all of this goodness in MCC, all of this goodness in Halo Infinite coming up, then you have a new Halo book. And we also got an announcement that Showtime has officially set the launch date of their Halo TV series for 2022. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, pr I'm pretty happy to be a Halo fan. All right, so let's let's rack on with the main segment of this video. Every single episode, we're going to have a main focal point of the video after the Halo news. A nostalgic trip down memory lane of an old Halo series. Maybe it's going to be a particular lore video. Today, we've got something very special for you guys. This package right here is chock full of Halo Infinite Primer. Today's episode is a Craig the Brute special. In here, we got as much Craig as you could shake a stick at. Let's start with... Pop this up. We got Halo Infinite Craig the Brute. <laughs> it's so poignant that they released this figure just as the memes were ramping up. And even more crazy that it actually has the same me- It's the meme, guys. It's the same figure. This is fantastic. My sweet Craig, I feel like our love affair has only just begun. You are quite, quite the item. And also, Mega Constructs just nailed it out of the park with this figure. I'm talking like four or five different paint apps. The skin tone is definitely different to the jumpsuit. Then this shock rifle has a load of different gray details to it. It's a phenomenal figure. So I'll save the best till last, but we've got one, two, three Craig the Brutes. <laughs> You can't have enough Craigs. It's physically impossible. I expect 343 to put like a serious memorial to Craig in the game. Three servings of Craig, please. <laughs> I must tell you, ma'am, there was a complication with the birth. It seems you've had triplets. But these are only the children. My daddy is coming. <laughs> daddy is coming. <laughs> Daddy's coming. Holy grail of Craigs. The brute captain from Jazzwares. <laughs> it looks like this will just slide straight out. Looks like this will just slide straight out. Slide straight out. Craig the brute, he comes with the mangler pistol. He looks a little stumpy compared to what I thought. All right, where do these things go? Are these like his little, is he a jump pack brute? Yeah, I guess he's got a jet pack. That's cool. Yeah, so that pistol looks pretty good. He's got a lot of nice paint apps across his body. Actually, he's got some really nice weathering, some silver dry brushing that goes all over. Crazy cool battle damage. Then his soft plastic belt is really nice. Yeah, this is a sweet figure. I'm almost nervous to see what's under this helmet. I don't know if I'm ready. Here we go.
Oh, excuse me. Um, I must say that I'm pretty impressed with this. I love the new scale, and it comes with this base plate, swivel joints like on a rack. <laughs> and he also has a nice ratchet effect, so you can pose him in very detailed ways. It also comes with this Halo Infinite Jazzware downloadable code for in-game armor coatings. If you would like to win this, just comment down below saying Halo Infinite Hype, and I'll choose one of you guys to win this code. Daddy will hold you, boys. <laughs> Hold you in his arms. <laughs> I love the Craig meme. It's the best thing to happen in 2020, honestly. All right, folks, that's the main segment of the video out of the way. We're on to the domain news. 30K subscribers, which amazing. Thank you guys so much. I never dreamed I'd get there. And also our new diorama just hit 10K views. 10K in like five days. And I'm so happy that you guys are all along on this journey with me up until infinite and then far beyond. I also took like a week long break once I hit 30K, aside from one particularly questionable video that I decided to upload. And now I'm back again with a brand new schedule. We're gonna be having these videos every week for now. I'm also gonna be hitting weekly lore videos, weekly live streams, and a new weekly series that's coming soon called The Quest for Every Halo Hero. I also met very recently with the biggest Halo collector in Hong Kong. He showed me his collection and I bought about 75 figures from him. We we made a video that'll be coming out soon, as well as Blind Bags Part 2. I know you guys are very in impatient for that video, but please, just be, just help me out. I don't have the software to make it right now. I have a 2013 MacBook and it cannot run anything other than iMovie right now and I'm kind of dying. But I just bought a new MacBook, so it'll be here soon. That's pretty good. So that moves us on nicely to the next segment of the video, which I call the Sentinels. The Sentinels is the name that I'm now giving all the people on my Discord, Facebook, Twitter, community members in general. The Sentinels build and support the domain and all Forerunner structures. The Sentinels will be our video segment where I go through loads of different things from the community. The first thing we're doing today is fan mail. I received two things in the post recently. The first one is quite old actually, and this is from Pigeon, AKA Tom. He says, hi Simon, and thank you for being so awesome and making such quality content. Keep being awesome. Good luck, Tom. And he drew a really rad picture of Zeta Halo. So thank you very much for that. I'll be pinning it up there somewhere for the next episode. And if you want to send me fan mail, you can do at my address here. I live in Hong Kong, but it's actually pretty easy to send me stuff. Just don't send me any expensive sets, just like nice drawings, things like that. And then we've got something from one of my favorite people in the Halo community, Kevin Hurd at Halo Collector. He sent me these Halo Collect, whoa, iron on badges. And they are so badass. Halo Collector is the number one place to talk Halo collecting on the internet. They have a Facebook group, they're working on a website, and I just sat down with Kevin today and filmed 10 burning questions with Halo Collector. He owns the largest Halo collection in the world, and he is super sweet guy, really cool. These really sweet Forerunner inspired badges. If you would like to win one of these, stay tuned to the end of the video. Now it's on to art submissions. As we reach 30K, the community pulled together on my Discord, and just sent loads of really nice sketches in. I'll display them all on the screen now. You guys are awesome. And you can submit your own artwork on the domain Discord. I also did a poll recently and I said only one character can survive. I listed some of the Noble Team Spartans and I was very surprised that 56% of people chose a meal to survive. When actually when you read the comments, loads of people wanted George to survive. I'm gonna be running polls a lot into the future. If you ever see one and comment on it, you have a chance of being featured in this video. And then I wanna finish this section of the video every week with highlighting a content creator that I think deserves more attention. This time it's YouTuber Sofa GT, and they do really awesome stop motions. They've been uploading every single day this week, testing out new stop motion tricks. And you should definitely go subscribe to them. Please go just, just spam their, spam their YouTube. Go show them some love. We are doing a charity sale on my Discord right now, where four of the great content creators across Instagram and Discord are selling their custom figures, including loads of Flood, and 50% of the profits is going to Saint Jude's Hospital. You can check out all the links in the description below. Head over to our Discord, support those community members by buying their custom figures. They are awesome. As we draw to the end of the Domain Terminal episode one, we're gonna finish with an interactive game. Every episode will have a different game and we'll announce the winner at the beginning of the next episode. For this game, you have to guess what set this Mega Constructs piece is from. If you guess correctly in the comments of this video, I'll pick one of you and send you a Halo Collector badge and a couple of other goodies. Which set is this piece from?
It's a tricky one. <laughs> If you can guess what set that wheel is from correctly in the comments of this video, I'll pick one to send out some prizes to. And that pretty much draws to a close the first episode of The Domain Terminal. This is a very weird series. I'm kind of uncomfortable doing it, but I'm trying to get out of that zone into something new and bring forth a new era of Halo content on the internet. It's, it's gonna be a crazy year for The Domain, crazy year for Halo. And I think this is the best way to not only go through Halo news every week, highlight the best members of our community and just celebrate everything that is going on in this ever-expanding Halo universe. Thank you very much for tuning in today and... All stations, brace for cast off. Wait, did you hear that noise? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez, what's going on? Oh, no! Oh, jeez, we're jetting off somewhere. Oh, I'll see you next time. Oh.